your dinner party, you're supposed to do all that. Not me. I was well, not the entertainment. Let me finish. I, I was not the entertainment at your dinner party. So you can't sit there and say that I put a downer on your dinner party because I was not your entertainment. I'm Excuse just me. Stop you hold on a minute. Pink. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm really gonna shut up right now because you are just. Okay. Oh my giddy okay. days. And there was Janice and Vanessa's squabble in Gloucestershire. Hey, Don't interest. start on me, Janice. All right? Because I won't put up with it. I won't just sit here like he will and take your crap. No, do we're not do, don't, start do on not. me because do I don't. Not. Oh. Oh, point, point, point. Then I... All right, let's shut up. That. You're spoiling... Shut you're spoiling this man's dinner party with your I bloody am... rudeness. Unfortunately, Janice and I got into a bit of a slanging match. But hey-ho, that's life. No oh, way! No way! No way! Yes way! Confessions <laughs> of a gigolo! <laughs> Curiosity aroused, the girls were eager to find out more. Have you ever seen the movie American Jigger? You're doing a paper out. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Come on, spill the beans. We, yeah. we have seen some magazines. We've seen the evidence. Mm -hmm. <coughs> look at this. MI5 has been here and we've <laughs> searched. Like, look at that. Oh, do leave him alone. <laughs> That's the best chest I've felt for some time. She liked it so much that after that, Maria couldn't keep her hands off him. Would you oh. like some of my breast? Finger food. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this is getting silly. No, no, I, you know... I, the shirt's I'm open sorry. and I can uh, see you know, the start of the really, six-pack. We so. really have to up. swap places. So Why is she going to rub it again? <laughs> I know he's got something stuck to his chest. Does he? Yes, your hand. Some yeah, sweet yeah, corn and it just won't come off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him sitting there, you're loving it. Do you remember me? I was here last night. <laughs> Feeling a bit left out, fella. Over dessert, Pete may as well have not been there for all the girls cared. Dennis, did you make the basket yourself? And for, I would love to say yes, I'll I just did. Just say yes! It's so good! <laughs> Any excuse to pour him. Say yes, I did. It doesn't matter when you look well, like you that. Why do I have to sit on this side of the table? I'm going to Oh, thanks, babe. Well, you can sit next to him tomorrow. Um, would you like me to leave, girls? I think they probably would. <laughs> leave now if you want. <laughs> love you too, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Run off, it's all right. Oh, I'm quite yeah. happily married. <laughs> By the final night at Maria's, Pete's patience was wearing thin. Yeah. Dennis, don't you feel hot? <laughs> no, he does not want to take his shirt off. <laughs> Behave. Don't take what? No <laughs> way. Oh. 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 Excuse me. Are you wearing underwear? Four of us yeah. here. I think Pete's getting a bit upset because Dennis is getting all the attention. Surely not. And at the end of the night, his patience had run out completely. It's just trip on. You have, like, you oh, possibly wanting someone to come and lick that off you, or... Yeah, what am I going to do? I have to ask you a question. <laughs> Dennis. Hey. And yeah. I really need an answer tonight. OK. I'm getting a bit fed up with this. I really am. What are you fed up with, Pete? You want to lick his chest constantly. <laughs> You're embarrassing me, girls. I've stuck this all week. Who said anything about uh, licking? You've gone something in it. Oh, I've got chocolate on my chest. Who wants to lick it off? Oh, Dennis, Dennis. I've had this all plumbing week. I'm sorry, it's wearing thin. It really is. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for me. There's four of us at this table, not just you two and him, which is how it's been half the week. Just having a laugh, and you've started having a go. No, because it's been all night again. Pete, get over it. It was all night last night. I've held back, held back, held back. Sorry, darling, I'm not trying to spoil your night, and well, I'm not. You babe. have. But... Thank you very much for doing that. I'd like to know. I didn't think you had to be so rude like that. To be totally honest, I think you just went a little full force. And if you were upset you about it, like maybe you feel something. Week. Well, it's a bunch of people I've getting it, together having it, fun. Taken. What's the no, problem with that? Thing constantly. You know, we've had innuendos all week. It's just been a lot of fun. Not for Pete, it hasn't, the poor dear. Well, then. You know, this is about four supposedly adult people, married people, carrying on in the married world. You know. Not flirting with a kid that's young enough to be their son. Goodness sake. 
I don't know what she puts what together. I think she must get it all very cheap in the charity shops. I just can't believe it, the clothes you got in there. Oh, I've squished them in, do you mean? Yeah. yeah. I need another no, wardrobe. No, the taste of your clothes. The taste. <laughs> It just looks like you go to the what are they called charity shops. And that's before he got onto her hairstyle. Lydia, why did you not do your hair for tonight? How, what do you mean? How should I have you done it? You just got a straight back. Yeah. You got a beautiful face, but yeah. shame about your hair. Shame about the hair. Um, <laughs> I didn't have much time to be honest because I was focusing on yeah, the food. And he soon started on everyone else. You finish your dinner then? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. What, what happened? I've eaten to, what happened to your hair then? I don't know. I'm not a hairdresser, I'm a builder. <laughs> You've got a terrible haircut, do you know that? Or you yeah. don't notice? I don't know, do I? I don't know no different. What happened to you here? <sighs> Just a minute, be gentle with me. I backcombed my hair, I like, some... crumpled it. I put what, everything... tonight, Anthony? I know. What? You backcombed your hair? Yeah. Yeah, but something... looking be greasy. It's been greasy, I've got gel on it. A nice wig would suit you. A nice gag would suit you. And Marcello's rudeness wasn't confined to what his fellow diners looked like. Can I just say something? What? Look. My hair. A <laughs> cubic hair. Oh, yeah. You have yeah. I got good eyes. It looks lovely, but look at that. That's a pubic hair. On another night, he managed to put them all off their food. That looks like a sick bag, you know, on the planes. Oh, <laughs> oh you ruined it! <laughs> That's real. <laughs> it's a real shame that Marcello, he really turned my tummy because, like, straight away he said it looked like a sick bag and I kind of just couldn't get that image out of my head. On his own night, Marcello tried a charm offensive, but it didn't last long. Hello, look at you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Beautiful. You, you got some taste, then? Don't you? <laughs> I you said, broke it. Yeah, so you have no taste. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. I thought she got no style, but everything is matching. I can do the hair much better than it is, but we can talk about that next time. Liz, you make an effort. <gasps> but yeah, I did make the effort yes. for you. Oh, that's so. good. But what's happened to you? That's not effort. And later in the week, as they rooted round artist Anthony's bedroom, he found an unsavoury collection. Mr Hairdresser, what do you think of this hair? It's pubic hair. Yeah, is it good? No. No. And it's <laughs> terrible. Unbelievable. No, he definitely got something wrong with him. There you go, Lydia. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Auntie. Bit of a dark horse, are we? Yeah. How can I eat that now? Why? What do you mean, how can you eat it now? Just to see in your bedroom. But can I see... <laughs> no, can I... I'm not joking. Can I see your kitchen first, before I eat that? No. You try the food, that's why you're here. Oh, my God. Um, um, Marcello? Are you same? sure it's not some skin or dirty old... Um, <laughs> someone's dead body skin or something? Trust me, trust me. <laughs> there is and even the conversation came under attack. Like... Boring. Cool. No, no, it's not boring. boring. This is a Fluffy. Fluffy wants to join the dinner party, don't you, Fluff? Yes, please. Oh, dear. I'm not sure Famida's going to want to kiss Fluffy. Does it? Huzzah. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. There Thank you, you go. I should just get yours. Did you see the snake? No. Well, I'm a close one. Andy? Thank you. Thank you. Is this for real? This is my friend Fluffy. Is that your pet? He, when he your husband is. isn't around? <laughs> <laughs> he, he is my pet, yes. Is he a young boa? No, he's a corn snake, bless him. I wouldn't have a snake on my table when I'm eating. Is this a normal thing for you? He, he's a big part of the family. We've had him for eight years now. And he's going to poo? Oh, my God. Surely he won't. Oh, Just poop. in case, I'm really, I'm really... He's going to... I'm sorry. Oh, my oh. God! I said we should have got him out yesterday. Oh, no! Well, that's something you don't see every day. <laughs> Can I leave now, please? <laughs> I'm so sorry. He did it last week. He only generally does it about once a month. I'm really sorry. He does it about once a month on no, average. I, I'm sorry, I can't have the sweet now. No. There's no way. No, no, I'm no. going to be sick. Yeah, me too. No, no, that's fine. I need to move on, Claire. We couldn't sit here with a snake, you know... Poo? Uh, well... It was this kind of hushed silence when you had this kind of terrified voice from Claire going, Oh, God. I think it's going to poo. The snake pooing on the dining table was the most appalling thing I've ever seen. <laughs>